Hey everybody. What's cracking? Sorry. <laughs> Had to do it. But here he is. There he is. Col colliding with everything. He is a big boy. I I've heard rumors that the um the, the witch house fish, hello friend, is even bigger. I don't have that yet. I'm still I use a macro to watch the ads because, like, that's the, the, the ad requirement is BS. Oh boy, it's a laggy one. Um, and I still don't have the stupid vampire thing. As soon as I get that, I will have the, the event. I, I think the event was just about right. It was a little bit on the long side, but if that's what they're shooting for, I think the event was alright. Except if you. I, assuming you already had the fall fit, event fish, I think it was just about okay, except for the watch ads 300 times butt crap, um, which is not literally, but is effectively what the requirement is for the uh, for the uh, the penguin thing. Um, it's really weird curve though, because basically once you, the, as once you get part of the witch's den quest, you just suddenly get AH vitality and you can buy like 50 fish like instantly. Uh, it's so weird and that like basically takes you through all the rest of this and that gets you enough gems to pay off um, How much you've had to upgrade trick-or-treat you pretty much get back out what you put into it Which I think is a good way to do an event uh, I, I do definitely think that this is Butt crap. This is Total BS. The, there's a cap yeah, all of these maxed out at level 9,000. I don't know if Nappa designed this game or what, but, um, yeah. And it's, uh, it basically puts a hard cap on how many fish, well, a soft cap on how many fish you can make. Uh, we've heard around, like, 180, I believe, is how many people have been able to make, which is, like, just about enough for the witch house fish, in fact, or something. Um, but you also can't, um, you can't, you can't make enough to get every single fall fish, so they still need, they definitely need to update it and fix it, but it's been over a week since it launched and there's no word from the devs or from the PR dude at all. I don't know why there's a PR dude if he's not allowed to talk to the devs from what multiple people have like, you know, multiple people have gotten responses that in indicate they don't talk. Like, the developers and the, the production studio does not talk to the PR guy. He's just kind of like there in a room with like, you know, uh, an eye patch over both eyes and like he's not allowed to use the phone and like not allowed to use a computer. He just has to like scream, um, you know, we, I will feed back our team into like a megaphone and that gets translated into Facebook. I'm pretty sure that's how their, uh, their PR setup is currently going and it's not really the best in my opinion. I think maybe somebody who actually talks to the developers might be useful in that position um it's a really dysfunctional team it's one it's probably the best development team that makes the the, the best the relative best game that i've seen like the the gap between developer competence and game goodness is amazingly broad and um <laughs> I, honestly i wouldn't still play this game if i weren't doing the guides and stuff it does a lot of really dumb stuff and uh, I, it's frustrating. I do really like the, the look of all of the things once you bought all of the little corals, so to speak. Um, I really do like the tank concept. If we can transfer fish, I think the tank concept is fine. The one bad thing is that the tank concept has this flaw where like, once you finish a tank, there's really no reason to ever go back there. And resorting your fish and stuff in each tank is really still unfun. I think the managed fish menu could be improved a lot. Like, let me long press on a fish to just pull out the fish, in my opinion. And let me buy from the managed fish. But, like, this, the saltwater tank is basically totally abandoned at this point, it seems like. So. And the, the freshwater tank is so laggy, I, I avoid it, like, the plague. It's just so bad. And uh, I stored all my fish thinking uh, it would improve it. Nope, it's just the tank. So don't store your fish in the freshwater thinking it'll fix it, because it doesn't. So it's just inherently laggy. Uh, speaking of inherently laggy, I don't know why it's not reaching my clicks. Anyway, that's pretty much it for Abyssrium. Um, unfortunately, it's still looking impossible to, to complete the event if you don't have the fall fish from before. So, yeah. Um, in Food Fantasy, I, I've been enjoying the game, but they've been putting way too many events too fast. Hopefully we'll get a break from those. 
Um, Mercy Mechanic uh, it seems really iffy lately. They, they took it away for the double scoop thing. I'm not sure if it's back for Toso or not. Um, I just got a comment. I just got one unverified comment in my live stream that hasn't started yet. Saying they had 100, uh, 13,000 embers and only got Fwa, no Toso. So that sounds very iffy, but I'll, if we get more confirmations in, I guess I just won't pull on that banner because that sounds bullcrap. Um, yeah. I, I, I like the base game. Again, it's another case of like, I like the game, I did strongly dislike the developers. Uh, which is why I make videos not for developers. I make videos not for the game or anything. I make them for the players. So that's why I make stuff for Abyssrium to like help people play the game and enjoy it. Even though the game can be kind of a mess. That's why I make stuff for Food Fantasy so people hopefully don't get too, uh, you know, scammed by stuff. And yeah. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really enjoy it too much lightly as much. I, I want to get pizza hopefully. If I'm lucky and really pull out all the stops, I might be able to get 4-star pizza, which would be exciting, but... If the events continue in this direction, it, it's seeming really... Blurg. Um... And... Yeah, I don't... I don't really like Gashapon games, and some other- some people asked if I was gonna do, like, Dragalja Lost and stuff, and like... I heard that the rates for that are genuinely, like, drastically worse than Fate Go. And Fate Go is, like, my, like... If you even mention Fake Go in a reference to a game, I'm like, nah, I'm not playing that shit. I'm not, I'm sorry, no. No, honey. No, no, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, um... I don't know why I started the sentence with that. No, hopefully. I, I, I just don't really play a lot of Gashapon stuff. The, the one Gasha game that I play that seems fairly generous is uh, Star Ocean Anamnesis. I've gotten almost every uh, limited event banner character that I've gotten. I've been... Uh, and the vast majority of the non-banner characters, um, the only one I couldn't get that I really tried to get was 2B. I think I spent like 500, or not 500, 50,000 crystals, like 10, 10, 10 pulls. Uh, no 2B. I got like everyone else in the game, but no 2B. Um, that's not, it's honestly frustrating just because I pulled that many times. I, I, I have not played near Auto Tomato. I don't really have any particular affinity for 2B. You know, her design is good and all that stuff. But, um, she, she probably wouldn't be my favorite to play. I do, she does have this really overpowered self-heal thing. So, I mean, she's a great character to have. But I'm mostly just annoyed that I didn't get her because I, I tried a lot. And so I'm not really going to try, um... For anything. I think the thing that was BS about her is that she was one character and she had the same rate as if if there's like three characters, everyone has 3% each, right? But for 2B there was only char one character and she still had only 3%. And... yeah. But... Oh well. I'm happy with the game otherwise. I got Demon Claire. I've been using her. She's a ton of fun. I think I enjoy her using Demon Claire a lot more than I would 2B. Um... As far as, so that's Abyssrium, that's Food Fantasy, that's Star Ocean, um, I have a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna probably stop streaming, well not stop, but like, I'm gonna stream a lot less for the next little bit. I might just say, you know, not no stream Vember, but I guess maybe close. Uh, I was thinking of things to do, but I was like, you know what, I've got a ton of games that I need to go back and play, so I think I kinda need to take some more of my own time and, you know, play some of that stuff, play a little of this. Um, and I was actually trying to quit some games. I was trying to quit Animal Crossing and Pocket Camp, and then they started having an anniversary event with a bunch of free leaf tickets, a bunch of... Um, it's like three phases of events, and it's got some neat rewards. Uh, you can finally get Isabelle as like a visiting NPC for your camp. So they pulled out all the stops on, for the, on that one. I was, I was honestly really looking forward to like not having to play that one for a while, but uh, it, it got me again, at least for, at least for this event. Um, but yeah, I got... I have a bunch of games to play. Spyro should be coming. Spyro's coming this month. Um, there will, will be a stream on that. I played the original Spyro, so I should know what I'm doing for the most part. And, you know, uh, I'm really interested to see the remake. I, I mean, I've seen footage of the remake and stuff. It looks great. But, uh, being able to experience it in, you know, in the wild, that should be pretty dang cool. So, join me for a stream of that that's already in. I try to schedule all my streams ahead of time if I know I'm going to do them. So if you just go to my channel page, it'll show all the upcoming streams. You'll see the Spyro stream. You'll see the um, the next patron live stream and any other events that I've, you know, set up already. 
And uh, if any one of them tickles your fancy, you know, you click that little set reminder button and you get an email right when the uh, thing arena starts. So, hope to see you in some of the streams. And uh, hi, Parker, yes. You have come to interrupt my streams. Yes, you have. Yes. Yes. Um, I got my new phone, finally, my, my Pixel XL. I was gonna get the Pixel 3, but then it came out and it was like $800 for like the, the smaller one, the regular Pixel 3, not the XL. And I was like, eh, I don't want that. You know, I'll get a Pixel 2. I'm sure they dropped in price. Checked Pixel 2, has not dropped in price. Still 650 bucks, still what it was when it came out. Um, so I'm like, wait, but, but this $30 phone I got is okay, but I want something with a good camera. And like, I don't want to spend like 300 bucks on like a subpar, like current, you know, mid-range phone. I don't want to spend a thousand bucks on a stupid flagship. Um, but then I looked, I I'm glad I looked, but I looked for Pixel XL, the original, um, two years old at this point. Um, it was 270 bucks on Amazon. Um, brand new. I, I ordered it and I got a Google Daydream, the VR headset, for 40 bucks. I was genuinely expecting to get scammed. I looked, you know, I, I you know, I know I've been in my way around Amazon stuff. I checked, made sure there's lots of feedback, mostly positive, um, seemed to be a legit place. They, you know, they filled a lot of orders in the last year. Um, took a chance, got the two for 110 bucks, you know, before tax for both. Um, both of them came immaculate condition, brand new, actually what I ordered. I was like expecting to get like the wrong phone and it's like covered in cracks and like destroyed. Uh, and like is the wrong phone, like it's an iPhone one and like, you know, it doesn't turn on, but no, uh, perfect new in box, beautiful. Uh, I've really been enjoying it for, I would say for 270 bucks, you probably can't get a better phone. Than this it really does feel like a brand new flagship to me i went from a ne nexus 5x so you know three 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 years old at this point three four I forget exactly um but yeah it was kind of the the high mid-range phone and it was plenty for me but it's starting to get a little bit slow with new games like uh star ocean even food fantasy is, is a lot is a fair bit faster on uh, on the new phone so i've really been enjoying the pixel xl um, the size, I was fearing like phabletness, and I mean it is bigger than any phone that I've had, but only like just barely, like a few millimeters. It's really not drastically bigger than the 5X. So phablet, maybe not. It's not like the Galaxy Note, I think, which is like really big. But yeah, it's uh... It works wonders. The camera's supposed to be fantastic too. I have not messed with the camera as much as I was hoping to. And uh, I need to get some more Parker pictures. So hopefully, hopefully soon. And I need to get some, I haven't gotten any uh, Parker videos yet. So hopefully real soon we'll have some new high quality Parker pictures and videos. And I'm s sorry to my patrons that have not gotten many Parker pictures lately because I, I didn't take many pictures with the uh, crap arena phone. Not that they're very good anyway. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much been my week. Um, decent week at work. We, you know, made a little bit of progress on a long and boring project. We got new phones that like suck, and I don't know, I don't know what the deal is with that so far. Cause we got we got a new phone set up for the new office, which we're not moved to yet. But we're we're in IT, so we're kind of you know babysitting or whatever the new phone system to test it out. Um, and they they kind of suck, and I don't know what, if anything, we can do about them. They're IP phones, which I think the last ones were too, but the, the, the audio quality is just bad. Um, they, they have a fancier system. Um, Features-wise, I think they're great, but the one I got is this grand stream thing, but the audio quality is just crap. Like, people... It sounds like I'm listening to, like, an old, like, turned-up, way-too-loud VHS, like, recording of somebody talking instead of, like somebody talking it's uh yeah but we'll we'll live I, I try to avoid the phone as much as possible and i think we're getting in an arrangement where unfortunately i have to answer a fair amount of like tech support calls even though i'm not a tech support person um i'm like last in line to get calls but at, lately we've been getting a lot of calls and there'll be there should be some extra you know people in there in line to help before me 
once we get the new location. So hopefully I can get some actual work done instead of answering phones with like, you know, stupid problems that anyone else could have easily solved. That's right, Parker. So, um, that's the week. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the, the, the Halloween event or hope you're enjoying not playing the Halloween event, whichever you choose to do both equally valid uh, options. But yeah, um, well, that's it. Here's to next week. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, happy, hope you had a ho happy Halloween too. I, for me, Halloween is the whole month of October. That's why we get all the spooky streams. But, and hopefully you checked out the spooky streams. If you didn't, I have a big old playlist with all of my Spooktober stuff put in. And uh, yeah. Go away, Mr. Chest. But yeah, I, I, I love playlists. I wish more. I wish YouTube respected playlists properly. But I. If you want to watch a bunch of content on the same game, I have a lot of playlists set up for stuff. So uh, check those out if you feel the, the urgent. 